It's Sunday, November 27th here at the West End Gun Club. It's 10 till 7, roughly, but I'm already done setting up all the targets for the match today. It's Today's in November 2022, Course of Fire. And I still need to set the barricades, but it shouldn't take me that long to get all the props back out of the container. Uh, it's a little windy today, about 8 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. I was hoping it would be dead calm because I was out here yesterday and it was dead calm. Uh, but I was out here around 9 o'clock yesterday, 9 to 10, and there was no wind. So hopefully about 9, it should trim out a little. But I was out here yesterday just to fix a barricade and to remark the target area because when I mark the target points, when I do my match run-through to make my job easier on match day to know where to put the targets, um, I mark it with water-soluble paint. It's just marking paint. Unfortunately, we had rains two weeks ago. Well, fortunately, we had rains two weeks ago, but unfortunately, those rains washed out all my target markings. So I had to come out here the day prior, mark the tar or re-distance everything, mark the target area or the target points so that it made my job easier this morning to place all the targets. But uh, yeah, we're good there. And, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna shoot the 1022 today. If you, if you recall from my previous vlogs, my Voodoo 22, I'm short on good ammo for it. So I need to uh, kind of reserve what ammo I have left that's good for it, that shoots accurately in it for just other matches um, until I can source some good ammo for the Voodoo 22 again. Because that case of ammo I thought was good doesn't shoot well in any doesn't shoot well in that gun anymore for some reason. Uh, so I'm gonna start sourcing some, like Lapua is pretty much out of stock everywhere. I can get Ely match actually, but I'm not sure if I wanna risk a case of Ely match. Um, I know that I bought some boxes of Ely match and they shoot fine, but uh, there's a place I can get a case of it, but I have to buy the case. I think it's $1,300, who knows. Um, but yeah, we'll shoot the 1020D today. It's, uh, I'm, I'm confident in the gun, it should shoot well enough. To, uh, for NRL 22. But let's go ahead and get everything, uh, the rest of the barricade set up so that we're ready for when people arrive. All firearms must have an empty chamber indicator inserted in the chamber when not actively on a stable fire. You know, we call them cha uh, chamber flags or whatever. If you do not have one, let me know after the safety brief and I'll loan you one for the match. Shooter ready. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh. Impact! 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 Good run, sir. Good run. Good shooting. 
Impact! The right condition is to get so much more, more time and you're not trying to deal with multiple actions. Sure, stand by. Ten seconds. Impact. Impact. Nice. Good run, sir. One seventeen elapsed. That target's moving.
No hit. Impact. 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 Engage. That winged it, I think. Move on. Small KYL. Small KYL. Re engage. Re engage. Impact. That was my last one, I think. Yes, sir. That's the one. Yeah. Let me just shoot on that kill. I'll just. Or Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Good. How did I drop? Three? Four? You, got, you dropped three total. I have you for seven, sir. Shooter, please stand by. Impact. 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 Safe. Impact. Impact. God, stop moving. Impact. Impact. Safe. Finish strong. Impact. 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 Safe. I need a mag change here. No support. Drop one. Drop in one. Impact. Alright. Impact. 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 
So, 12th place overall base class is Tito Allegri. Hey, okay. So, Tito Allegri is so nice. top base class. Then going up to top six, just in the sake of, for the sake of time here. I have Chris Spilp, sixth place with a 401.16. Fifth place overall is Bryce Walker, open class. Yeah, boy, that's my 401.31, so a separation of point. Like less than two tenths of a point. Damn, that's the orc timing. Right there. <laughs> Fourth place overall, Alex Saavedra, open class. Yeah, there we go. Four three zero point five three. Uh, third place overall, open class is Wayne Sang. Yeah. Four thirty one point eight four. He's got a wicked voodoo set up. Also got that earlier. So it's always the gun. Yeah. The gun. It's always the gun, right? And the in the in the author. Um, I myself was second place overall open class with a 440 even. Yeah. And with a 440.68, those bonus points matter, uh, first place overall open class is Jeremiah Burns. Yeah. Yeah. And he just got your, you just got the gun, right? Yeah, I just bought it after the last match yeah. from the guy who shot it last match. <laughs> <laughs> he got fifth place last time, so he's gonna get. So it's, so it's so it's not the it's not the gun. It's, it's the shooter. <laughs> it's the shooter. Congratulations, Jeremiah. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna do draw for two names here. Um, I'll do this uh, C4, just carbon cleaner for anybody who wants to uh, wanna grab that for me, man. And just call out the name, I guess. Draw yourself. Chris Phil. Chris Phil. Nice. Hey. <laughs> and then another name for the shirt. And you pick whatever size. There's just like a bunch of sizes. Um, Brittany brought it last week. The last one. Is it Wayne? That's Wayne. Wayne Sang. Yeah, right. Wayne Sang. Wayne Sang. Just grab a shirt. Go ahead and root for whatever size you want on there. If you want like triple XL, I think that'll fit you. That'll be good. It was a very brisk match today. Uh, we have 17 shooters overall, started safety brief at 8, and we started the match debrief around 11.15. So roughly three hours or so to finish the match, uh, with three squads, so it ran pretty well. As far as my own personal shooting today, I didn't perform as well as I would want myself to perform. The wind caught me on, I dropped a lot of shots actually, and I think the wind caught me on some of them. I, at this range, the, the amount of wind on the upper berms, so the farther berms, is a lot different than on the lower berms and it might actually be in a different direction. So that's something you always have to take into account when you shoot here. Um, and I had one malfunction, and if you saw the scores being read off earlier in that, in that segment there, I finished with 440 even and the first place shooter finished with 440 point something, like .63 or something. So uh, 440.63? Yeah, I think he it definitely had four, over 440 and some bonus points. So that really did affect me. Had I not timed out on the bonus point stage because I had a malfunction, I probably could have won the match because I saved two rounds, which I didn't fire on the rooftop. So, you know, it is what it is, right? And that's a 1022. I did, I am running, I did bring in two new magazines, which I think are not performing, they're not broken in. So they did, I think that's one of them, that the one that malfunctioned today was the newer one. So I need to break that in before I use it in a match. Otherwise I'll get more jams. So I need to like kind of cycle the spring a little bit, like load it up, unload it, load it up, unload it, just to get the spring to wear in a little bit so it's not having failures to feed. Anyway, the 1022 did okay, but I mean, I didn't perform as well as I want to. Other than, and then other than the malfunction, it was oh fine. But I really need to start shooting the bolt again. Um, should I need to probably just start shooting some of my old Center X, which I still have enough from each lot to shoot one or two more matches maybe, and then I have Midas Plus, which I can shoot another match. So maybe I'll, I'll bring out the Voodoo for next month. We'll see. Um, and I do have SK Long Range, which I have not revisited in the Voodoo. It didn't shoot all that great in the Voodoo, but I should, it might shoot well enough for matches. So I'll probably bust out some of that uh, Long Range match, which I have in a ammo... Um, an ammo case, sorry, a USGI ammo can. I mean, I'll bust that out sometime because I'll be, I'll be out here later this week to run through the December course of fire. Anyway, as you can see around me, I have a bunch of stuff to clean up, to store in the container. Right now I'm waiting for the paint to dry because I'm repainting the targets before I put them in, the, in a cons container. And I got to break down some of these props and barricades. And then I got to turn on my paperwork. 
Anyway, um, just to close out this range vlog, reminder, our December match at the West End Gun Club is going to be in two weeks from uh, today. So two weeks from by the time you see this, it'll be on December 11th because the fourth Sunday of the month is Christmas Day. So we moved it up to second Sunday of December. So if you're interested in shooting the December match, it will be on the second Sunday of December. That's just a one-off simply because of the Christmas Day holiday on falling on match day, the normal match day. So uh, registration actually, I mean, by the time you see this, the registration will be open, but uh, today's Sunday, it's 11.51, so registration is open at noon. But tomorrow when this range vlog comes out, uh, you'll be able to register for the December match on practice score. And I'll put the link to that match registration in the video description. Anyway, let's go ahead and close out the vlog so I can get some stuff cleaned up and I can get out of the range. Um, that's it for today, November 27th, Sunday here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.